Hello everybody, this is JT Productions and I'm back with another preview and prediction video. Today, I'll be doing the Georgia Southern Eagles. Last season, Georgia Southern had a tough, tough season. They went 3-9, 2-6 in the Sun Belt. With the, their only two wins in the Sun Belt were against Arkansas State and Texas State. So not that good, if you ask me. So let's... Let's see how they'll do this year. So, Well, they fired their head coach last year and hired Clay Hilton, who was the former head coach at USC. And he, he, he coached USC, all right. He failed. The USC became a walking dumpster fire under him. Their offense, I believe that... They were triple option before Clay Hilton got there. I don't know if he's going to try to uphill that, but I don't know. They were more of a run team. If not triple option, they were more of a run team. But anyways, in comes Clay Hilton. How will their offense look? That's the question. They had two transfers and both of them quarterbacks. Kyle Ventrice from Buffalo and Richie Langford from the College of San Mateo. The rest of their offense, they have a senior transfer wide receiver, Omari Jones, redshirt junior wide receiver, Emil Smith, and a senior wide receiver, receiver Caleb Hood. Offensive line are veterans, almost all are seniors, that's a good or bad thing. They have Jalen White at running back, Gerald Green at running back, and tight end Bo Johnson. And the defense, they have some good pieces. However, if depending on how Clay Hilton coaches, that'll depend on how they do defensively and offensively, of course. So, how are they going to do? That's the question. So let's see. How their schedule shakes up. Hold on just one second. Fixing something. All right. So, week one, they played the Morgan State Bears at home. This should be an easy win. Even though Clay Hilton was not a good coach, he did win easily against the teams like Morgan State. So that's 1-0 for Georgia Southern. Then you have two back-to-back -back road games. You go on the road to Nebraska, who should be pretty good this year. And <laughs> you're not going to win in Lincoln this year. You got blown out, I believe, last year in Lincoln, or at home. Wait, did you play Nebraska? No, you played Arkansas. Two years ago, two or three years ago, you got blown out in Lincoln, I think. Anyways, you're going to lose that game. Then you go on the road to UAB, and I think you're going to lose that game as well. UAB is a good group of five team. And in Birmingham, that's you're going to get beat, in my opinion. Then you play Ball State, who I think, I think you're going to lose to. Ball State, while not being the best team, I think it's going to be a little bit better than you. And I think the Georgia Southern is going to be disappointing this year. So that's going to turn. That's going to take you down a win that I originally had you at. So with being on a. Three game losing streak, then you have to go on the road to Coastal Carolina. You're going to lose this game badly. Coastal Carolina is one of the best group of five teams out there, and they're not going to slip up against you. Especially, yeah. the thing is, look at Bush Jones last year. It was his first season coaching at Arkansas State. I think he won one game. Clay Hilton is around the same, the same kind of coaches. Um, Butch Jones, except he's not like a youth pastor. He's not. He's not necessarily that. He's not like uh, going to give you an inspirational speech every time you go into the locker room after doing something bad. He's not like that. 
but he's still not a good coach. So, I think you lose to Coastal Carolina, and then I think you lose on the road to Georgia State. Then you play James Madison. James Madison coming up from the FCS. I think this is going to be your first ever win against a Sunbelt opponent by Clay Hilton. So what are you, two and five? Well, about to be two and six, because then you go on the road to Old Dominion, and I think they beat you. Old Dominion's going to be around your level of talent. So I think... You lose there and go into your bye week at 2-6. and six. Then you play South Alabama at home, and I think you lose that game. Then you play at Louisiana, and I think you lose that game. Then you play Marshall, I think you lose that game. Then you play App State, you lose that game. I think you finish the season 2-10. and 10. Bad first season for Clay Hilton. Can he build that roster up? Who knows? We'll see in the future. But it's just too many question marks, especially with Clay Hilton. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you're a Georgia Southern fan, I am sorry for what you're going to have to sit through this season. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and go dogs.